this is day 5 of our 2 week vacation. We woke up early today because we're taking the boat to Morocco. 7 a.m. but it's still very dark here in Tarifa, Spain. We took a cab to the pier and arrived very early. Well, we were told to come a couple of hours before the departure. It's okay though. We took the time to look around and enjoy the cold air and the salty sea breeze. The boat leaves every 2 hours, starting at 7 a.m. I originally wanted to take the 7 a.m. to avoid the crowd, but the agent we bought our tickets from said that the 9 a.m. is the best time because establishments would be open when we arrive. So we took his words, although we had to use Google Translate to communicate with him. He spoke perfect Spanish but no English. At around 8 a.m., it started to get brighter and we bought some sandwiches and drinks from the pier kiosk and went through the passport control and the security. It was a bit messy because there seemed to be no standing in line or queuing culture here. Just our personal opinion. Anyway, we got on the boat, yay! But before we could finally settle down, we had to line up for another passport control, this time from the Moroccan side. It was tiring and we lined up for like 30 minutes. This is a business class by the way. You get to sit here for an additional fee of 20 euros. So we said no thank you and we just sat on the regular seat. The one and only controller stamped our passport and we gave him the entry forms we got from the travel agent. We went out to watch as the boat sailed away. We are now crossing the Strait of Gibraltar. The trip takes one hour. I thought it was cool that we left Spain at 9 a.m. and arrived at Tangier, Morocco at 9 a.m. The trip was a bit wavy. There's a kiosk where you can buy refreshments and a small tax-free shop. Charging sockets were everywhere, so it was convenient. We took this trip on August 30, so there were few tourists and tourist groups. I've read that during high season, the boat tends to be overcrowded. And so, thankfully, we reached Tangier safely. This is my 38th visited country slash territory and I'm very grateful. My husband had been to Marrakesh many years ago and he always speaks warmly of that trip. I also want to see the rest of Morocco but for now, Tangier would do. We passed by a passport check and out of the pier, we went.
started walking along this promenade, which was by the waters of the Strait of Gibraltar. I didn't feel unsafe here, by the way. There was a man insistently offering his taxi services at the pier, but we tried to politely decline. Other than that, all was well and peaceful. I thought we could reach one of the attractions in the city through this road, but I was wrong. Nevertheless, we enjoyed the walk and saw locals, individuals, fishing, and lots and lots of cats.
later on, we gave up the walk, seeing that we couldn't reach the Phoenician tombs by this route, so we went back. By the way, if you're new to this channel, leave me a thumbs up or a comment and subscribe for more travel narratives and stories on being an expat in Norway. Thank you! us and the cats, we avoided petting them, as we've always done in our travels. We're cat lovers too, as we have two cats waiting patiently for us in a cozy cat hotel back home in Norway. So we're now back from where we started. So this is zero, kilometer zero. Morocco. I'll just go around it, guys. And now I think we are going to find something to eat and then, but ta -da! instead of something to eat, we found something to cut. Yeah. You can't touch it, Mahan. It has. Hi, Mats! Oi! Somebody wants to be petted! Hi, Mats! Wow! Hi, Mats! Wow. <laughs> Sorry, we can't touch you. Bye, Mats! Wow! Bye! So cute! By the way, this was the day before we found out that we are expecting, so I was feeling pretty sloppy or tired throughout the trip. My body finally gave in during the boat trip back to Spain, but before that, I pushed myself to enjoy my first visit in Morocco. My husband had been very patient and understanding. We rested when I needed to. We decided to take the hop on hop of bus. I guess we reached this point in our lifetime when these practical buses become a perfect choice or solution to sightsee and catch a glimpse of a new place conveniently. Wow. All right. You can actually choose between a bus tour around the province and a bus tour around the city. We chose the latter because we only had a day. So it took about an hour for the whole round. It started to rain as we left, but don't worry, it will lighten up again after a while.
bus was a double decker and it impressively traversed the narrow and busy roads. There was an earphone which you can connect to the bus and listen to the different points of attraction during the tour. However, an honest review, it was bad audio. So I had to put it down after a few minutes. Anyway, here's Tangier in its streets and highlights.
Tangier seemed pretty modern, more than I expected it to be. There were parks and skyscrapers, shopping centers, and the long stretch of beach was full of people enjoying the day. We finished two rounds of the bus route. First, to see the city entirely, and on the second trip, to finally see the Phoenician tombs and have some food. I was starving.
so we're now walking towards the old Phoenician tombs. Of course, they're empty now, but I thought it still felt weird to sit or stand on them. The view was amazing, and you can see the promenade we walked on earlier. Some of the remains are now displayed in the Caspa Museum, according to sources. Then, we went to a nearby restaurant. This is, I don't know what this is, but there's something spooky about it. What is my test? ordered Moroccan and American breakfast. I didn't know it came with fresh orange juice and bottled water, so I also had some milkshake. It also came with the popular Moroccan mint tea. It was a feast! And the best part was we only paid around 290 Norwegian corner for all of it. Back on the bus to finish the tour, so I was already feeling very exhausted and unwell here. We missed the souk or the local public wet market and the museums I wanted to visit. But I had to listen to my body. I was like, I could literally sleep anywhere at that moment, even on the grass. We sat on the bench for a while, then walked to the pier. We still have some money to spend, so I bought a bag and some beautiful coasters from the vendors outside. 
Sadly, I noticed late that the bag was old and rusty, so I had to leave it in the hotel when we check out, sadly. Anyway, on the way out of Morocco, there were more passport checks. It really started to get tiresome and I felt that some of it was unnecessary. But you know, when in Rome, you do as the Romans. So, passport check upon entering the pier, passport check upon taking the stairs, another one upon entering the waiting area which is more of the formal passport control and stamping. We sat and waited. Then. Passport control again to get out of the waiting area and passport control again to get on the boat. Seriously, why? There were more people on the way back at 4 p.m. and my headache was killing me. But thankfully, we survived the trip and we had a very good rest throughout the evening. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching and join us again on the next leg of our journey. Like or comment and subscribe to this channel for more trips and travel narratives. Take care!